possiamo cominciare? Sì, sì, sì. So, good morning, everyone. Most of you have been in touch from, with me during these months for the organization of, of, the, pan, of the conference. I am Andrea Mariuzzo, and we're going to start our conference uh, on uh, universities, institutions, and society between 1914 to 1968. And uh, first of all, but I'm going to introduce, briefly introduce the main elements of these two days, but uh, first of all, let me introduce to you uh, Daniele Menozzi, who is a professor of history at the Scuola Normale and the head of the seminar of contemporary history in the institution which is hosting us in these days for some words of uh, welcome and acknowledgement. Prego. Bene, buongiorno, ben, ben arrivati. Eh, dico solamente alcune parole appunto di benvenuto e di, eh, di augurio e di ringraziamento. In primo luogo appunto un ringraziamento alla, alla scuola che ci ha permesso eh, di avviare questa eh, istituzione al CISUI eh, che ci ha fortemente aiutato nel suo eh, sviluppo e un augurio di buon lavoro, soprattutto perché penso che questo tema, il tema della università, possa trovare una luce particolare nel momento che stiamo attraversando da una attenta considerazione della sua storia ed in particolare della sua storia novecentesca. Eh, non è certo eh, una novità eh, sottolineare eh, le difficoltà, eh, non a caso si usa spesso la parola crisi, eh, che il sistema universitario sta attraversando in tutto il mondo, in particolare nei eh, paesi eh, occidentali e eh, impulso, il primo impulso che è venuto per eh, lo, lo, lo studiare con gli strumenti critici in maniera adeguatamente approfondita questo, questo tema, è partito proprio eh, dalla eh, considerazione che eh, un eh, ripercorrere la storia ci può ci può dare, ci può quantomeno aiutare a dare delle eh, indicazioni per cercare eh, di uscire eh, dai eh, disagi che credo noi tutti eh, nella vita quotidiana stiamo incontrando e che cerchiamo eh, di proiettare al di là eh, dei problemi personali all'interno eh, di una eh, visione complessiva della visione appunto dello svolgimento, dello sviluppo delle eh, condizioni in cui questo sviluppo eh, si è da non a caso l'asse eh, di questo convegno è per l'appunto eh, il nesso tra, eh, un, tra università e società, tra eh, sistemi di istruzione e di eh, educazione eh, superiore e eh, lo svolgimento, le tendenze che avvengono nel contesto civile, proprio perché siamo convinti che cercando di cogliere eh, queste relazioni, di meglio capire eh, questi rapporti, eh, si possa dare un un contributo, eh, un contributo nei limiti ovviamente delle nostre competenze, che è quello eh, di una conoscenza eh, criticamente eh, precisa eh, della, della vicenda eh, universitaria. Eh, questo solamente per sottolineare, credo, eh, l'attualità ed il rilievo dei eh, nostri studi, Penso che eh, nella tavola mh, conclusiva finale noi potremo riprendere eh, questi temi. Di nuovo la tavola conclusiva finale ha voluto eh, mh, sottolineare la connessione tra la storia delle università e eh, le prospettive di nuove eh, linee di, di, di politiche eh, sull'organizzazione sull degli studi superiori, proprio perché nella convinzione che il nostro lavoro ha sì una dimensione conoscitiva, una imprescindibilità, dimensione conoscitiva, ma che questa dimensione conoscitiva, quanto più è serrata, quanto più rigorosa, quanto più è fondata, tanto più può eh, aiutarci ad eh, uscire eh, dalle secche del sistema universitario. 
Eh, non voglio aggiungere molto se non eh, le scuse perché non potrò essere presente per vari impegni istituzionali nel corso della giornata a tutti eh, i, eh, i nostri lavori, ma ci sarò quantomeno nella eh, giornata di domani per tutto il, lo svolgimento della giornata di domani. Eh, un ringraziamento finale ad Andrea Mariuzzo che ha eh, voluto seguire, ha, ha dedicato buona parte del suo tempo a seguire e ad organizzare questo, eh, questo incontro con grande diligenza, con grande zelo, eh, con grande attenzione e passione. Quindi un vivo ringraziamento a lui e eh, cedo ben volentieri a lui il compito di dirigere questa giornata. Hey, just some short notes uh, to introduce what we're going to do uh, in these days and sometimes they will repeat in English some elements of <laughs> Daniele Menozzi's speech. Well, As you probably know, this conference has been organized by the Scientific Committee of the National Seminar on the History of Universities. Uh, and this, sem this National Seminar has been promoted in uh, 2012 by the CISCO, which is the Italian Society for the Study of Contemporary History. At that time, I proposed myself as coordinator of a group of Italian scholars committed in the study of various aspects uh, of the history of higher education. Uh, this group, some members of these groups are here, uh, especially Mauro Moretti, Paola Carlucci and uh, Simona Salustri. They will participate in the discussions during the sessions. Uh, while the fifth, members of, uh, the fifth member of our committee, which is, who is um, Elisa Signori, can be with us uh, because of another appointment abroad that could not be postponed. And, uh, In 2012, uh, we thought that uh, in the course of the last year, Italian higher education, as well as it happened uh, in um, other Western countries, uh, has been experiencing a cycle of reforms which involved both its structures of governance and administration and its objectives and approaches. In view of the challenges of internationalization, mass impact, and adaptation to new forms of uh, global competition, etc., and uh, we believe We believe uh, that a long-term historical reflection of the phenomenon uh, could be useful to understand its inner mechanism and to evaluate its results. Uh, so, after some one days uh, meetings and roundtables specifically devoted to Italy and to the history of uh, her most significant local cases, such as Pisa, Bologna, and Pavia, we decided to expand our perspective in view of an international comparative effort. In fact, an international context is absolutely necessary to understand the dynamics of change in the modern academic world, the diffusion and the mutual inspiration of models in administration, in administration and in the professional conduct of academic personnel. Uh, while some key elements Uh, for the interpretation of the, of the topic uh, as far as the, as the long 19th century is concerned are now established, for example, the emergence of the Humboldtian model of university, the link between higher education, advancement of science and national states, and the role of universities in managing the social capital, etc. Uh, for the heart of the 20th century, uh, the histories of higher education institutions and systems are still fragmented and need to be reorganized around some common themes, uh, such as the emergence uh, of the United States as a, global, as a global point of reference in the production of knowledge and organization of cultural institutions, the improved access of non-Western higher education systems to the global network of exchanges and competition, and the consequences of the quick and continuous growth in numbers of students, scholars, and faculty members. Uh, so, at the end of 2013, the success of our call for papers uh, brought that these topics have become crucial for several research projects all over the world. In fact, we received over 60 proposals uh, from all the continents. Uh, we had to operate a strict and painful selection, but I think that now we can offer an interesting overview of the most recent developments of historical research in the field. As you can see from the program, We collected the selected presentation in three panels centered on different elements of higher education life. The first panel is, is uh, devoted to study of model of governance, funding system, uh, interactions between central administration and periphery. Uh, the second one 
is concerned uh, is concerning uh, the emergence and establishment of disciplines, teaching and the research methods, and in general contributions to the creation and the reshaping of knowledge. While the last one uh, will uh, work on social and prosopographic trajectories of students, scholars, and employees. So by the presentations and the following discussions, we are sure to collect enough material for the final round table. Uh, it includes some scheduled interventions, as you can see from the program, but unfortunately a, a couple of speakers will not be able to be here tomorrow. And on the other hand, along with Mauro Moretti and our three discussants, everybody will have chance to intervene during the final discussion in order to express their conclusions, uh, make new suggestions, uh, reveal new questions suggested by the work of other researchers, etc. So before starting the first panel, let me conclude with a further short remark. Uh, someone, as, as someone of you knows, uh, along with the organizers and the speakers, uh, some European graduate students uh, whose dissertation uh, his focuses uh, um, on higher education history and policies are attending the conference. In fact, the CISUI, the Inter-University Center for the History of the Universities in Italy, based in Bologna, has selected them for some participation grant which cover their travel and accommodation expenses. Their presence, their presence will make our discussion more lively and will enlarge the impact of our presentations. And for these reasons, and for its enduring effort to promote the study of higher education history in Italy, let me thank CISUI, which is represented today by uh, a long-term collaborator <laughs> of CISUI, uh, Simona Salustri, uh, who is a research fellow in history at the University of Bologna. And uh, so I invite Simona to spend some words about Thank the you. center. Thank you. Good morning. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today as a, a member of the scientific committee of this conference and uh, as a member of uh, CISUI. And um, I remember you that uh, CISUI is a, a, an institute uh, founded in Bologna in 1996 by professors uh, Giampaolo Brizzi, uh, Piero Del Nero and uh, Andrea Romano from uh, University of Bologna. Padua and Messina. Uh, the 22 universities united in CISUI uh, promote all forms of historical research on universities, higher education, and cultural institutions from the Middle Ages to the present day, and ensure international relations among scholars and um, institutions. CISUI also promotes uh, an international uh, dissemination thanks to Annali di Storia delle Università Italiane, uh, an, important, uh, um, an important journal published by Il Molino. Therefore, it's important uh, for CISUI to endorse conferences uh, on the history of university, um, such as ours. I bring your greetings from uh, the General Secretary of CISUI, Professor Giampaolo Brizzi, who cannot be here today. And um, I thank Andrea for his uh, precious commitment, Professor uh, Menozzi and Scuola Normale Superiore di Pisa. I wish all of us a good job. Thank you. <laughs> 